just i want to read one bible verse today bible verse i would like to read today for second corinthians chapter 4 verses 10 in this bible says we always carry around in our body the death of jesus so that the life of jesus may also be revealed in our body praise the lord just before i would like to read the second corinthians chapter Four verses seven eight like that praise the lord that's the bible says but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from god and not from us why the prosecution is the lots of things whenever it is happening in our life why we can able to survive everything in our life because the power of the lord is in a in our heart praise the lord in us that's what the bible says the power of Lord, that power of Lord, that means the hope of glory, the Christ is in you, praise the Lord. Because of this power, whoever is having, holding this power, nobody can defeat you. The people, those who are trying to attack you, praise the Lord, hallelujah, they will get perished. They will get die from this world. But you will get a long life here, praise the Lord. You can survive everything, praise the Lord. So that never look at the things which is coming against your life. You have to go forward, work forward every day, the work which you are doing for God. Praise the Lord. You have to work forward with the word of God, with the promise of the Lord. Sometimes, most of the time, as a pastor, you know, that one gospel preacher, many times I, I was getting the right situation. But I myself will get the motivation through Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. When I was getting the right situation, I was not saying to anybody, I will go uh, in the prayer and I will pray to the Lord. Then I will get the encouragement. Praise the Lord. I myself will get the recharging power from the Lord. So that each and every people, as a human being in this world, sometimes you cannot be able to go forward by yourself. Everybody will reject you. You will be alone sometimes. Praise the Lord. In the sake of God, you will be rejected. Praise the Lord. I, you will be neglected by the, your colleagues and your friends and everybody. But Bible says, if this power is in you, that's what Apostle Paul was saying, praise the Lord. We are hard pressed, because Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not despair, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Praise the Lord. Because the reason is, praise the Lord, why he could be able to uh, survive all these things, the Christ was in him. Praise the Lord. Christ is in him. So today, before we start the session, people are watching from different countries, from UK, Europe, and Africa, North and South America, and Asian countries, from all the nations, praise the Lord. Only one good news I want to say to all the people, the Christ is in you, praise the Lord. So that you can able to power, you can able to manage everything by the power of the God. Let us raise our hand and can pray one minute to the Lord right now. When you are praying, some people will get it, the revelations, praise the Lord, during the time of the praise and worship and word of God. Some people will get it, the word of knowledge. Some people will get it, some visions. Some people will receive the healing, praise the Lord. Some people will receive the wisdom and all these things. It will be providing by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us raise our hand. We can pray one minute to the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially. The people are watching you online and the people are here in this word of God. Heavenly Father, I pray for them. Thank you for your touching each and every people right now. Healing them, Father. Thank you for your touching lots of souls. Are raising up for the end of time, Raven. I pray for the families, those who joined here. Uh, Pastor David and Sister uh, Deborah and Sister Stella and their this family. I bless them, Father. I pray for all the people, those who joined from different countries. Thank you for your touching each and every souls. I pray for me and all the work which I am doing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that now is the presence of the Lord is moving. Everybody, praise the Lord. Any other prayer request you can send to us. So we will pray for you. Continue to do the gospel work. Praise the Lord. So thank you, Pastor David. Join here. Praise the Lord. Last four years, this family is with us. And today also, thank you very much by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. You want to say hi to the world. Amen to the Lord. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. God bless you all today. Thank you, Pastor Jolly, once again. It's a joy, privilege to be with Shake the Nation. May the Lord bless this session, anointed session, as we worship the Lord. Hallelujah, let your mighty presence of glory flow in your life today. Hallelujah. May the Lord speak to each one of our hearts today. We bring forth hundredfold fruit in their lives, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. May God bless you more. So, everybody, all the nations, all the people are watching. So let us join and rejoice and worship our Lord together. Praise the Lord. So that I want to invite everybody, all of you, in Jesus' name, join with us. Uh, this will be a powerful worship and powerful session. And also everybody, please share. Please do share in your Facebook and social media. your timeline. Praise the Lord. One of few seconds. So that the people are um, not hearing the word of God. They can also hear this word of God. They can come to the salvation. So we can... Enjoy the place and worship in Jesus' name. So, Pastor and all the family, God bless you. You can stand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless each one of us today with his divine presence. Lord, guide us by Holy Spirit today. Hallelujah. Take amid control of our lives. Hallelujah. Yes, it's your anointing flow. It's not by might, not by power, but by your spirit. Lord, take amid control, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Use us for your glory. In Jesus' name, mighty measure. Hallelujah. Yes, we will. We apply the blood of Jesus upon every, hallelujah, one of us upon, hallelujah, this session, hallelujah, entire session, hallelujah. Every hindrance we break in the name of Jesus. Every Amen. satanic influence we break in the name of Jesus. Let Amen. your mighty anointing flow, Lord Master, that many may be healed, they never set free in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Yes, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Worship your name. We lift your name on high. We magnify your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Sure. Line is not clear, Pastor. Can you check the line? Line is not clear. Sound is not coming. Coming and going, coming and going. Little bit. Could be second. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's okay, Pastor. Lord Jesus. I think it's uh, they cannot hear little bit voices. Camera is not coming. I think I don't know. Let me check up in um, uh, social media also. Thanks again. The shade of shades. Jesus is mine. No, no, let me check out in uh, uh, social media. Yeah, you can. Jesus is mine. No, no, let me check out in uh, uh, social media. Praise the Lord. Here again. May God bless everybody. You are from different countries. Sometimes the problem, internet problems come, will come. So then. Yeah, now we can hear, Pastor. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's all right. Thank you, Jesus. Worship your name, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, 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 
Thank you, Lord. This is I still my soul remember The precious blood that was shed for us. You paid the price so that we may have eternal life. So that we may have a wholesome life, a blessed life, a perfect life. We praise and thank the Lord. For it's because of the blood, because of the cross, that you have given us new life. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. You came to pay the ransom for our sins. 
And thank you, Jesus, for you have cleansed us with your precious blood. You made us pure. You made us holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This life isn't easy. We praise and thank the Lord. For though we are down in the valley, we do not lose faith because you are there with us to lead us, to guide us, to lift us up. We give you glory, give you honor, give you praise. Because you're the God of the mountains, you're also the God in the valley. You're the God that cares for us. You said, cast all your cares upon me for I will give you rest. I will comfort you. We praise and thank the Lord for all of his divine blessing in our lives. For great work he accomplished on the cross for each one of us. We give you glory, give you honor, give you praise. Let us worship the name of the Lord. Let us lift his name on hand. Praise and thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That is easy. Ready to the mighty. And you got peace of mind. I give you heaven. God bless you. Don't you say. And the country is still coming in the valley when things go wrong. He makes them right. We talk of the is still going in the valley when things go wrong. We make them wrong. And the God of the good time is still going in the valley. God of the day is still going in the valley. And the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He makes them right. In the God's second time, He's still God in the valley. The God of the day is still God in the valley. The God of the day is in the rainbow. Give you glory, give you honor, give you praise. Yes, you are still God. Hallelujah. On the throne, when things go wrong, hallelujah, he will make them right. Hallelujah. Yes. He is a God of the good times and he's a God, still God in the bad times. Hallelujah. We give you glory, give you honor. Hallelujah. Give you praise. 
We exalt your name. We magnify your name. We lift your name on high. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We lift your name on high. We exalt you for you all on our body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shabakana Bakana Telekana. Jesus Christ. The one who sets me free, hallelujah. That the lost is great for me. You have broken every chain. The salvation is your name, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the one who sets me free, hallelujah, and that lost is great for me, you have broken every chain, there's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ. The <laughs> I don't believe the one who sets me free. Yeah, 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 
Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. It is the one who sets me free. Hallelujah. And that lost his grip on me. You have broken every chain with salvation. Your name, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, so, Jesus, yes, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Prince of Peace, our life, you are a living hope. You're the Alpha and Omega. There's no one like you. Oh, we bless you. We praise you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For you have set us free from every chain, from every bondage, from every sickness, from every sin. You cleansed us. You redeemed us. You paid the price. You were broken for us. You shed your precious blood for us. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, our living hope. We bless you, Lord, today for taking complete control. Though there were many hindrances, but you are the God that is seated on the throne. You have given us the victory Amen. over every evil. We praise and thank you, Lord, for you have given us the victory over every evil influence, over every evil bondage, over every evil forces of darkness, and you've given us eternal life. Those who put their trust in you, those who put their hope in you, will never be discouraged. God that will give them eternal life. You're the God that loves each one of us. Use us mightily for your glory. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even if we could not hear any other worship, thank you very much. God heard. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, we can check slowly the mic and everything, Pastor. God bless you. It was. Um, and God bless everybody. More and more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let us raise our hand. We can pray to the nations right now. By that time, you can check your mic, Pastor. Only Pastor mic you can hear, okay? Pastor, the other thing, we, cannot, we could not hear. Praise God. Voices, it was coming and going, coming and going. If not, take up the mic and without mic stick. Okay, we are talking. So everybody, uh, today is a wonderful day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like every because we are joining from different countries. Okay, uh, from uh, there is there will be a network problems. This is the first time is happening like that. So uh, everything God is in control. Praise the Lord. I want to say to everybody, please keep in the prayer. Let us raise our hand and pray one minute to the Lord right now. You make everything at this talk at the earliest time. So that we can pray to the Lord when the time of sharing this word of God. You get the uh, good connection of the internet and may our God restore all the everything uh, very well, perfectly in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every people right now, especially the people are watching online. 
Heavenly Father, I pray for them. And especially, I pray for all the network issues and connections in the name of Jesus. Kajakodi Mati chapter 18 and 18. Whatever I bind on this earth, it will be bind on the bound on this heaven. Whatever I lose on this earth, it will be lose on this heaven. The name of Jesus, Kajak Nasrata, bind and cast out all kind of issues, all kind of network problems, all kind of things which is coming in against this revival. In Jesus' name, apply the blood of Jesus. Kajak, take authority over all the evil spirit right now and bind and cast out right now. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we are giving and there is a in your hand, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your taking care. In your glory. You are making everything in your glory. In the glory of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you very much. So God bless you. So we can hear the word of God right now. Pastor, you can admit to audio. Praise the Lord. Um, and check the voice. You can check the Hallelujah. voice. And, uh, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, you can hear. Please continue, Pastor. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We praise you for your total control of our lives. Thank you, Lord. We believe that you are going to do mighty things today. Yes, Lord. You have given us a victory over all the power of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. In your name. We praise and thank. Shake the nations once again. Yes, Pastor Lord. Jolly for the opportunity to share the word of God today. Yes, Lord. May this word be a blessing to your life today. Yes, Lord. One of the characteristics of God is his omniscience. He is a God that knows all things. He is a God that knows all things. But today we are going to see certain things. We need to know there are some things that God does not know. Hallelujah. Number one, God does not know one sin that he does not hate. Hallelujah. Number one, God does not know one sin that he does not hate. The psalmist describes God's attitude towards sin in a very beautiful way. Psalms chapter 5, verses 4 to 6. Psalms chapter 5, verses 4 to 6. But thou art not a God, thou art not a God in wickedness. who takes pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The shall not stand in your sight. Thou hatest all thou workers hatest of iniquity. Thou all workers of iniquity. All workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord, the Lord owes the bloodthirsty and man. deceitful man. But as for me, you are the God that hates wickedness. Psalms 45 verse 7 says, you are the God that loves righteousness and you hate wickedness. No evil dwells in your presence. You are a pure God. This is God's attitude towards sin, my brothers, my sisters. That's why Psalm 45 verse 7 says, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. There are many verses in the Bible God hates sin. God does not know one sin that he does not hate. God hates, hates the smallest sins that we sometimes think are trivial and puny. We think we're very small. But he hates even the smallest sin. Zechariah chapter 8 verses 17. Hallelujah. Zechariah chapter 8 verses 17. 
And let none of you and let none of you in your heart think evil in your heart neighbor. against your neighbor. And love no false oath. And do not love a false oath. For all these are things For that I all hate. these things I hate, said the Lord. Yes, the Lord. He hates every type of evil, even the smallest sin. What attitude should ours be towards sin? What attitude should we take towards sin? People who say we're serving God, and God is a pure God. What attitude should we take towards sin? We need to hate every false way. King David says in Psalm chapter 119 and verses 104 Through your precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way. Through the word of God we get understanding. In another verse he says I have hidden your word in my heart so that I may not sin against thee. We have to run away from every type of false things, every type of sin. Psalms 128, 119, 128. Therefore, all their precepts concerning all things I consider to be right. I hate every false way. We need to do what is good and above every type of evil. Romans chapter 12, verses 9. Romans chapter 12, verses 9. Let love be, Let without, love be without, without hypocrisy. I want that which is evil. Above what is evil and cling to, to what is, is good. good. King David says, no wicked thing. Hallelujah. I have said nothing that is wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. In Psalms 101 verses 3. We should fear the Lord. Not worldly fear. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. We need to hate evil. Go away from evil. If we have to serve the living God. If we truly say that we love God. Love does not rejoice in iniquity my brothers and sisters. It rejoices in the truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 6. Rejoice not in iniquity. Love does not rejoice in iniquity, but it rejoices in the, in the truth. Rejoices in the truth. God does not know one sin that he does not hate. Second thing, God does not know even one sinner that he does not love. Hallelujah. Yeah. No matter how grievous sin we may have committed, Though our sins may be red like scarlet, the Lord said they shall be white as snow. As intensely that God hates sin, intensely he loves those sinners who have rebelled against him. The book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11 says, As I live, says the Lord, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. He does not have pleasure. Wicked are people are perishing. He wants them to repent. To turn from their wicked ways. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11. Say unto them as I live, says the Say Lord unto God. Them, says the Lord God. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. I have no pleasure wicked, in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked, that the wicked from should his turn way from his evil ways. And live. And live. He wants the, them to live. He does not want them to perish. 
He does not delight in the death of the wicked. Turn it, turn it from your evil ways. Turn yourself from your evil ways. So why will why you die? Why should you die, O house of Israel? It's because of sin that we people die. People perish. People are going to hell. It's because of sin, my brothers, sisters. Those who don't know God, God is a pure God. He does not delight in the death of the wicked. He does not want any. Hallelujah. He does not know one sinner that he does not hate, love. He loves everybody. But he wants us to turn from our wicked ways. From every false way. From every sin. From every iniquity. From every bad thing. Hallelujah. That can keep us away from God. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God wants all those who have departed from his way to return and be saved. He wants everybody to be saved. He loves everybody. He desires that all men should be saved. First Timothy chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. First Timothy chapter 2 well, verses 3 and 4. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Who will have all men What is his desire? His desire that all men be saved. And to come unto the, and knowledge, to come of to the, the knowledge of the truth. That they may know God. Who is God? God is pure and holy. He's not slack concerning his promise. Second Peter chapter 3 verses 9. He's not willing that anybody should perish. He wants all people to be saved. Hear my people, hear my people, the voice of the Lord. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. The Lord promise. is not slack concerning His promise. As some men As some count slackness, but is long suffering, long suffering towards us. Not willing that, that anybody should perish, perish but that but all that should, come, all to should come to repentance. This is the long suffering of the Lord. His salvation. He wants everybody to be saved. Turn your hearts to God. Enough of evil in your lives. Satan has, hallelujah, snatching away people. But we, the people of God, is snatching away people for the kingdom of God. Amen, hallelujah. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn to the holy God. Who desires all men to be saved. Come to the knowledge of God. Know who he is. There are many examples in the Bible. There are many pictures that the Bible shows. The true story, hallelujah. About the love of God. The Bible tells about the shepherd and his sheep. If the shepherd lose one sheep, he leaves the 99. Luke chapter 15 when we read. He leaves the 99 in the wilderness and goes after that which is lost. And when he had found it, he laid upon his shoulders and rejoicing he returns. And he tells all his friends. He tells all his family. He tells all his neighbors. Rejoice with me. For that sheep which was lost is now found. I say unto you, my brothers and sisters, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. One sinner that repenteth. He is a loving father. These are two examples that shows the love of God. About the father who had two sons, one son left him, went into the world, and when he had repented, when he had come to his senses, 
he came back to his father he came back to his father his father loved him he said to his father i have sinned against heaven and in thy sight luke chapter 15 in the same chapter when we read down the two example lord has given god is showing in the word of god about the love of god the love the father has for the his people his children those who come to know him those who love him those who serve him those who put their trust in jesus i have sinned against heaven and in thy sight i am no more worthy to be called thy son but the father said to his servant hallelujah bring forth the best robe put it on put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring him hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry for this my son was dead and is alive again he was lost now he is found and they began to be merry this is why god sent his son jesus christ jesus christ came to save sinners he provides the means of salvation for your sins for your evil ways for your evil habits jesus christ is the way to heaven my brothers and sisters Romans chapter 5 verse 8 God demonstrates his love his own love towards us his own love he demonstrated that while we were yet sinners we were not worthy we were not worthy but while we were yet sinners Christ died for us his son died for us first john chapter 4 verse 10 First John chapter 4 verses 10 and yes, this herein is love and herein is love God not that we love God but that he loved us but God loved us and sent his son to be the proper we were not worthy to be loved and sent his son we were not worthy to be saved but still he saved us still he loved us he sent his son to be propitiation for our sins God does not know even one sinner that he does not love. Third, we see God does not know any method other than the gospel that will save. Only the gospel of Christ that will save. The gospel of God means the means of salvation for all mankind. That's why, my brother and sister, we are not ashamed to preach the gospel. Pastor Jolly is not ashamed to preach the gospel in the streets. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. Hallelujah. To salvation to everyone who believes. Hallelujah. For the Jew first and hallowed also for the Greek. It is the power of God. It is through the gospel that God provides salvation for sins. There's no other way to have a relationship with him in the church. That's why he raised Christ from the dead. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 20 to 23, we read, Hallelujah, he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Jesus is not dead. As people think, he is more than alive. His grave is empty. He is the only savior of the world. He made him to sit on his own right hand, Father God, in heavenly places above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world hallelujah but also in the world to come and he put all things under his feet jesus christ is the way of salvation my brothers and sisters he is the way to heaven he's made him the head over all things to the church which is his body 
the fullness of him that filleth all in all. That's my my brothers and sisters, those who are serving the Lord, hallelujah. Be faithful, do not depart from, hallelujah, nor change, nor modify this gospel. Galatians chapter 1 verses 6 to 9 when we read, hallelujah. Do not preach any other gospel. If anybody, any angel or any people preaching other than the gospel, hallelujah, let them be accursed, the Bible says. There's only one gospel, that Jesus Christ came to save sinners. He lived, he died, he was buried and he rose again to give us eternal life. Paul says, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. God does not know any method other than the gospel that will save. And lastly, God does not know any better time than now for you to submit to the gospel. Today is the day of salvation. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 2. Hallelujah. For he, said, I have heard For he says, in an acceptable time, time I have heard you. And the day of salvation, the day of salvation I have helped you. Thee. Behold, now, now is, the is the accepted time. time. Behold, now, Behold, is, the now is the day of salvation. You do not know what will happen to you tomorrow. Or tonight, James chapter 4, verses 14, we read, You do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It is like a vapor that had appeared at a little time and then it vanishes away. Today you are alive, tomorrow what will happen? You don't know. Submit your life to Christ. Amen. Today is the day of salvation. We Christians should not get complacent about their salvation. We must work and be faithful today. Yes, Lord. Yeah. We must work when it is day. The night is coming. When no one can work. We need to work for the gospel. Every opportunity we get, we should preach the gospel. Romans chapter 13, 11 to 14, when we read, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put up the, put up the armor of light. Let us arise and shine. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 to 2. For the glory of the Lord is risen. Let us arise for the name of the Lord. We that have put on Christ make no provision for the flesh. John chapter 9 verses 4 I must walk the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. We need to work while it is day. If you are thinking, my brother and sisters, that I'm not worthy to be saved, I have committed great sins, you need to realize God hates your sinful ways. But He loves you so much that He gave His Son to die for you. Today is the day of salvation.
If you're a sinner, you need to realize that God hates your sinful ways. But God loves you. And he sent his son to die for you. Only today is promised that you may respond to the gospel plan of redemption. Hear the voice of God. Today listen to the voice of God as Ananias said to Paul in Acts chapter 22 verses 16. And now why are you waiting? Now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized that your sins may be washed away calling on the name of the Lord. We need to call on the name of the Lord. Only Jesus Christ can save you, my brother and sister. Jesus Christ can cleanse your wicked ways, your evil habits, your sins. Though they may be red, let's call it, they shall be white as snow. The word of God promises Jesus Christ shed his precious blood. The blood of Jesus Christ speaketh better things than that the blood of Abel. There's wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. It is the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from every sin and gives us salvation in our lives. Please respond to the gospel. Know the love of God through our Lord Jesus Christ who came for you and for me. Today is the day of salvation. Submit to God. Turn from your evil ways. Repent of your sins. And call upon the name of the Lord. You shall be saved. May God bless each one of us today. In Jesus' name. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He who died, heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sins. Let a little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. For the Bible tells me so. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing the love of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, it was a word of God. Powerful word of God, right? Even if the worship, it was there was no sound in the worship, the word of God, at least we could hear. First of all, I want to give the thanks to the Lord for this. Uh, for the favor of the Lord, praise the Lord. So thank you for the word of God. See, you know that the nature of Jesus Christ is the love, love of God, praise the Lord. So whoever is taking this gospel. 
the trick of the devil is devil want to break this love this is what most of the community and everything everybody right in this world there will be a separate separate groups standing against right lord against each other so the the reason is they don't know the god you know before i born again always i was thinking about money 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 right so how i need job i need this position right lord i was always saying my position i did my mba and you know that i how you know running the company right in india and as well as here so i was always saying my personal things right lord but when the love of god is coming we will never care any of these things right lord hallelujah we will never care any of these things we don't want any of this world we need everything right lord uh, but in the world things and everything is nothing right lord hallelujah so that apostle paul is saying comparing the glory of the lord but i am not looking at the things which is coming and forgetting all the things which is coming against my life what i have earned and everything right lord when the love of god when you are getting the experience in christ jesus the love of god that is apostle paul was running with this gospel so that i know that one the people those are anointed the you received the holy spirit anointing i know you will never i know that one give the first preference to the money you will give the first preference but always always you will think it or how i will spread this gospel right so this is this will be a, your first thought for, for the, the, this will be you will be thinking the first time praise the lord so that second secondly we will be giving uh, the all other things praise the lord so the first thing all the i am not saying all the children of god but the people are received the holy spirit anointing walking by the promise of the lord praise the lord hallelujah definitely you will never think about your money praise the lord we do, it will come praise the lord your position or anything never look at your the world position always we will think uh, you know, what i want to supposed to do for god in this world praise the lord that is what um, uh, i was thinking praise the lord so i will be always everybody singing accordingly so i am praying to the lord may um, let our god give the heart to all the people are born again in this world let, the, let them think accordingly so that if all the people are thinking like that and sharing this gospel by the grace of god i am thinking okay right that is what okay i myself cannot think anything by the grace of god right? this is a gift you need the gift from the lord right so that everybody the, uh, personally we cannot do anything right the lord that is the gospel work and everything this by the grace of god only you can do it praise the lord so the sometimes we, god will connect some people and we will break the relationship but nothing to worry praise the lord our god will connect somebody praise that is what okay um, majority of the people are you know that one your relationship and everything is breaking after that you are so sad praise the lord that means your ministry maybe your family your ministry your workplace and everything everything it will come good to you our god is saying our god has called you with a special purpose plan and purpose everything our god will do the good to you in favor of you according to the joseph life it was happened accordingly praise the lord so the children of god will never you should not get to worry any of these things even if you are alone praise the lord always give the first preference and share to the word of god in front of everybody later on everything will be adding to you first seek his kingdom praise the lord so that thank you for the word of god uh, pastor david god bless you okay may our god bless you more and more in jesus name praise the lord that's what i would like to read one bible words and going to close this section the book of isaiah chapter 60 verses one bible says arise shine uh, for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you praise the lord always the glory the loving kindness the power with the divine power of the lord always is with you it will be in favor of you entire nation will come and stand against you but it will never come near to you if you are the prayerful person if you are praying to the lord praise the lord nothing will come to you the people those who are planning out to do something against you they will get perish their generation will get perish but you will not get any problem praise the lord i am saying according to my experience let us raise our hand we can pray one minute to lord praise him heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i pray for each one of them especially uh, the people are watching online and the people are here in this word of god heavenly father i pray for them right now father give them it lord today pastor was sharing in the love of god the love of god is greater than everything whatever you are seeing in this world this is a 
commandment of the Lord. Heavenly Father, love each other. Heavenly Father, I pray for all the people right now. People are watching from UK, Europe, and Africa, North or South America, and Asian countries. I pray for all the people right now. Thank you for your supporting. You are giving your hand and power and glory to each one of them. Heavenly Father, Thank you for touching all the sick people right now. In Jesus' name, I declare the healing right now that people are having the sickness right now. Receive the healing right now in Jesus' name. The body pain, the tumors in Jesus' name. God right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for the world revival right now. The world revival. Heavenly Father, especially the five continents, all the nations. Heavenly Father, thank you for your doing the revival right now, raising up the revivals to Father. Heavenly Father, I pray for the revival in UK, the Europe, and all the cities of UK. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking control of this session. Heavenly Father, I pray for me. I pray for the Pastor David, uh, Sister Debro, Sister Stella, and India, this family. Thank you for your uh, blessing them more and more. Heavenly Father, I pray for me, our, all our ministry, which I'm doing right now, Father. Thank you. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ over the Shaitan Nation ministry. All the people, those who are in this flight room, and all the work which you are doing, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ and declare the protection right now in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, once again more, I pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, God bless you, everybody. Thank you very much. May God bless you more and more. In Jesus' name, I Praise the Lord. So, every day we have sections. Praise the Lord. And we are going to start the physically, we are going to start the meeting soon. Praise the Lord. So, God bless you. Uh, financially, if anyone any would like to support our ministry in financially, uh, God bless you. You can support us. Physically, we are going to start the meetings, conferences we are going to arrange. Praise the Lord from uh, different, different places. Praise the Lord. So, the people are in the local churches, the pastors, you are most welcome. Join with us. Praise the Lord. And uh, with your church members, you can join. Praise the Lord. We will send the invitation to everybody. Praise the Lord. So, may our God bless you. Lots of the financial things we, we need. Praise the Lord. So that... Um, the people, those who are uh, would like to support the ministry, most welcome, praise the Lord, um, so that we can do the gospel work. If not, our God will raise up somebody, praise the Lord, about our ministry. So, may our God bless you, everybody, more and more in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. So, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.